football they can play. In my understanding, you have to be close to them. It's, it's, it's a selfish thing as well. It's like I like being close to them, not because I want to be younger or whatever, I want to be still. The player, I'm happy that I'm not a player anymore. Um, because I, what I'm doing now, I'm much better in, but... Um, if you really do it together, really together, it feels better. It's just the way I am, and so my teams have to be like... Like that as well, so... <laughs> Sometimes you're as crazy as a fan. I, I celebrate from time to time goals a bit like that. I need a lot of energy to be part of the game and stuff like that, and there are the, the moments. When you are like a like Wilkan, when it's like for a second, and then it comes down again, and then we can follow the game again. I try. to be the kind of the extra tank with petrol for the boys when it goes a little bit lower, then I try to give some. Nice little kicks to, to bring them back on track. Did you find your dream club? Yeah, 100%. I think I'm probably a manager for an emotional club for living in emotion. A city where football is really important and not it's not only part of something, no, it's the middle of all interest. Yeah, so that's, um, I, I like that a lot, to be honest. You played against PSG in Champions League. What what do you think about PSG? I know it's not easy to win all these games, man. it's really not easy. But that they will be champion was clear before the season, now, they're, they're, now they're, they are out of Champions League. In one of the most unlucky games I saw in my life, to be honest, I watched it and I think, wow, it's actually not possible that you lose it. But I lost it. And they did it twice? Yeah. In Barcelona, oh, yeah. two years ago? True, true, true. In Manchester? Yeah, yeah. but I still would say this is, was different, because in one game, against Barcelona, they were better in one game, and the other game, Barcelona was much better. It was unlucky, but it was much better, but here, they were better in both games. And out, that's pretty rare. What do you think about Thomas Tuchel? What is he bringing? Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic manager. You can see his, um, really his influence. You know, it's changed a lot, the style of play, how they play, different formations, stuff like that. I can know, obviously, a lot of people work together with him, and they all are, full of, um, full of um, respect for him. You cannot win the Champions League only because of spending money. That's not how it is. You need to have on the pitch a good organization because we are all, all the others, we are not blind. So we do our job as well and you need to have 
the right tools in the right moment. And Thomas has that. Is there something similar? You're very close to your players. He managed to be loved by his players. It's not about being loved by your players. It's just not. It's, it's really about a should believe that it's the right decision. Mm. So, and the closer you are, the more they, the more they think about that. And because we are not. Per I'm, I'm not perfect. Thomas not. Perfect. Nobody's perfect. So you don't have to be loved by the players. You have to convince the players. Yeah. How would you say? Yeah, absolutely. So and it's easier if you like each other. That's how it is. How do you do to convince players? Do you have maybe With the right in? I thought that makes sense. The closer you are, the more you have to explain that. Eh? So if you are like a general and say, do this, do that, do this, and the players think, okay, I don't ask. Mm. But we have this kind of conversation and for us, okay, why we do this? And we do it because if you do that, then they open that space and then we can go through. If we play with three in the back, five in the back, and they play with five in the back, whatever, then we positioning here. So it's 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 proper work. Mm. It's not only throw the ball and play. It's a wonderful game still. Like probably you played still, hopefully in the park a little bit <laughs> from time to time. So nobody talks about tactics there, but for us it's really important. Are you following the French league? And do you have a special story, a special <laughs> affection? My history as a manager cannot be compared as Frank Reichardt's history. Because he has... Enjoying their innocence and joys of their youth. But she, at such a tender age, understands the importance of being a voice for her peers, an advocate for young girls and women around the world, who may not have the opportunities that us sitting over Friends, here but, have. Um, so if receiving you really this honor do it together, from a hero like her it feels better. makes Just this so much more exceptional. So, thank you. Follow a French club. Yeah, I follow the French league, of course, but I follow San Etienne since Nemitz about to just playing there. Uh, the first player for, for, for Bird Log in New York. So, um, and he's like a friend for life, actually, and so I follow it, and I'm really happy how, how well they well, are the doing. I think when he went there, they were 16th or so. Yeah. And so hey, I'm Nathan. playing for well, Europe. Well, you know, French football, you have a green heart. Yep, obviously. Best on deck with the best ride in everything. They're a friend, I'm the friend of my players, but I'm... Not their best friend. So my job no. is to, Kijk naar to de help them to Kijk play the best football they can play. Kampioen. In my understanding, you have to be close to them. It's, it's, it's a selfish thing as well. It's like I like being close to them, not because football, I want to be younger or whatever. And what is going to play? And there wordt voor geapplaudiseerd na afloop. Ja. I'm happy that I'm not a player anymore. That is the tendency. Um, with what I'm doing football. now, I'm much better. Look at Martijn. Fountain. Hier op, uh... I 
Sweet silver song 